Hello? Hello? Hey there, Franklin. You're asking me when I'm going to do Fallout 76 again? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whenever they do something new. I don't know. No time relatively soon. When does the current season end? Maybe towards then? Maybe right before the current season ends? Or something? I'll definitely be coming back if they have survival mode. How about that? If they have survival mode, then I'm, I'm all in. Otherwise, I, you know, people keep asking if... Really, though. People keep asking me if I'm going to play the game, but then they don't watch my stream, so... What do they care? <laughs> and when they do watch, they watch for a second and they leave. So, who cares what they have to say? You know? People say, oh, you're going to play the game, and they show up for a second and then leave. You know? I, I don't think it's all that entertaining to watch for the long term. If you've already played the game before. You know what I mean? It's nice to be in the same relative universe as somebody else as you're playing the game and they're playing the game. You get sound effects and everything. But once you understand what my build is, the, if I'm doing like a weird build or if I'm doing a, a funky build or trying out some new weapon or something, then it's worth watching. Because that's like the whole point of why I play the game. But if I'm using like the same build, then it's not worth watching. If you're brand new to the game and you've never seen it before, then it's worth watching. So Fallout 76 is worth watching for people that have never ever seen the game before. People that are against Fallout 76. Those are the prime uh, viewing audience for the, for my stream, you know? But if you've played it a million times, you're not going to be watching my stream. Why would you? Defend our resources with brutality. I will never forget your kindness. Now, I mean... Because after the, the second or third public event, it's really the same thing over and over and over again. I'm doing my lucky hole mine farm. I'm doing the Barry Mentats farm. I'm organizing my gear. I'm stocking stuff at the vendor and so forth. I guess I, I could have arguments with people about the price of things. Oh, you don't think my prices are good, huh? Well, you don't know about the game. You know? The person asked me and didn't even wait for a response. That's what I'm saying. Same kind of person wants me to stream the game and then not even show up. Just for the sake of it. Just for the sake of it. Just for the sake of it. But anyway, let's go check out my places. We have several locations that are... Um, depleted I have to reactivate all these locations so I'm gonna reactivate this one right now I can um I've already seen the billion uh, video a million times I don't need to well let's do uh, this one first it costs 700 to activate it let's do it Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Look at all these buddies. All right, let's go ahead and prestige. Oh, yeah. I am Prota. I am the one who knocks. Live with Meet Your Maker at Facebook Gaming. How y'all doing, everybody? Are you doing okay? Probably. Who even knows anymore? Give me a second. There we go. My budget is now up to 
has increased by 200. So I could, in theory, add a couple more things in these rooms. You know what I mean? And good morning, everybody. Good, good day to you and yours. Good day to you and yours and everybody else in between. Don't you see what I mean, baby? Look at all these creatures doing creature flavored things. Okay. Hey there, Mars. How's it going? I had to figure something. But I think we're good to go. I think everything is fine. So I am prestiging this outpost, meaning I have to upgrade it. Whenever I log in, I see the status of my of my outpost. So this is one of my bases. I'm not in play mode. I'm in build mode. All those little yellow points of light that you can see right there, those little dots, those, those yellow dots right there, you see right there in the middle? Those are all the spots that people died at. Other players. Right? So I can go over here and look at this body. It says, Jackson Gross 111, level 7, killed by cannon back. Killed by one of these guys. Now, I could put a bomb right there. Right there. I could put a, um... One of these. One of those. Okay. And, well, yeah, I could put a bomb trap right here. You see? Right there. And then this goes right over here. I'm just making some small changes. I'm, I'm adding something. Is all I'm doing. There we go. I'm adding this trappy thing. But I don't want it to be too obvious. So this towel here. There, so now it's not as obvious, in in theory, even though there's shadows and light and so forth. And this needs to be more bombs. Just stick with the same theme. Hopefully it works. Let's check out the range. Yeah, it should activate. Okay, I'm going to make this block, well, yeah, I'm going to have this block here be fire, oh, uh, yeah, that could be fire, and this can be a grappling hook. Okay. So check this out. You see what I'm doing here? This can be a grappling hook. Right here. Right behind this trap wall. You see? And I'll put a hologram right behind it. could, in theory, plop that right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. And that kind of makes a bit more sense. I 
I think this right here should also be a spike wall or a dart bolt shot. Because if a player flies up here to go attack these enemies, you know, uh, we'll get all messed up. So let me let me record this path here. Brian, you love this game? So so this is one of my bases. Check it out. It is one of my good bases. It kills lots of people. You see all those yellow dots where they died? I'm prestiging my base right here from, uh, well, from four to five now. I'm just trying to make this area more intense for the bad guys. The Safa. As I have suffered. Okay, let's make sure I record the path. So many people don't record path. That's silly. There's one. Uh, you. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, and then retreat. And then pop your head out and then retreat. Okay. And then this one over here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And we go up. Uh, let's make sure that it doesn't go through the hologram. We don't want the guy going through the hologram. go and then I'll add one more if possible one more cannon back right here on the edge facing down and this one's gonna wiggle right here done cool and now I have 20 more points So if a person is like quickly flying up doing their stuff, you know, doing their stuff, I guess I can put an impaler right here. Impalers cost uh, 30. I have how much? 20? I'll use a one of these guys. This way you have to kind of be careful as you enter, you know? It sort of forces you to be a bit more careful so you don't like run around and jump. You have to kind of go that way. Or you're going to be more deliberate when you enter right there. Yeah. Or you'll go straight there. Either way, these guys are going to go down. And it's so cool. Don't you think? All right. Well, that's it for this room. Let's go through and try to get the loot. Uh, someone on the internet said that you don't even have to pick it up. That you just enter the room or you enter the map and leave and you get everything. I don't know if that's true. All these people are dying. You know? This is my my base. Let's make sure it's active right now in the background. There, it's active, yeah. Awesome, let me refresh that chat box. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Franklin. There's stuff in the walls. Hmm. My left ear feels deaf all the time. Unacceptable. Okay, we're still going around looking for all the loot where these dudes died at. They've died here already. From what? Bomb ejector, bomb ejector, bomb ejector. All these players are dying from the bomb ejector. Nice. 
Yep. Killed by the other player. Killed by the Impaler. Hilarious. There's friendly fire, you know. And over here I have this room. You see? They all fell through this floor. It's awesome. Holographic floor. Killed by a corrosive cube. Killed by a corrosive cube. Killed by a corrosive cube. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, let me go outside now. Looking just nice and keen. Okay. I'll leave this one. All done. Yay. Can I prestige another? Maybe my uh, air base. I feel like the weather's getting a bit better. I'm wearing a t-shirt under this thing. Normally I wear a couple layers. It starts to have a weird temperature regulation over time. A bit too hot, a bit too cold, you know. Moist belly syndrome. If you know. You have built a you wonder, have built upon, a this wonder earth, upon this desecrated earth, custodian. Yeah. Alright, so let's go make sure that we're good to go. Conk Shonkin. Let's get that guy active. Activate you. I love the fact that you could have so many bases and you have to have them active. So that's sort of my gameplay. Uh, every four hours or so. I don't know. Throughout the day. When I'm awake. Maybe. Let's check on my bases. This whole section over here is a trappy portion. So let's go ahead and prestige it. Ooh, I want to prestige this stuff. Hip hop, you don't stop. But hip hop, you don't quit. Oh no. Okay. There's nothing in here. It you, you get your guard down. Well, this room over here, I think, kills enough. I think it kills enough. I don't want that one though. I don't want that one. Yeah, this room kills enough of them, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it does. I'm gonna worry about that room. What I was doing actually was I was trying to work on this section over here to kind of seal it up, but right now it's not sealed up, which makes it kind of weird. You know. But it will be. Sealed up. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Some of that stuff. And I can make a uh, just a solid floor right here, maybe. Something like that. Mm -hmm. I want these guys to think that they have a easy way out. I want them to think that they have an option. You know. A little bit. You go over here. That'll get you. That hologram will get you. You're in here. 
I'm trying to make it sort of an option. I'll put those cool mechanical things in the walls just to make it more freaky. You know? Copy that piece over there. I want the actual ramp, if I could. You know. That middle piece flying around, like so. And... Boom. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I have to remap that route, though. There you go. You can enter if you want to. So I'm going to add some lights down here. Oh, the the weather's been interesting. The corn should be coming up good. You, you live in corn country there, buddy? Deep in the corn. I'm staring. Right there. Come on in to the secret land if you want to. You could have a good time. Find the secrets in store for your, if you want to, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Secrets. You, you live next to Notre Dame? Cool. I'm adding these secrets down here if they want. You know, secrets. Uh-huh. Nope. Uh-uh. Oh. Mm-hmm, <laughs> Put a little love in your heart, and this world, oh yeah, will be a better place for you. And me, yeah. <laughs> okay. This goes down and around if it wanted to. If it wanted to... I guess I could put a uh, cube right here. If you do enter, you'll be shot by that. I'm just trying to add a few more traps, a few more traps, a few more traps. You know how it goes. That's not going to get anybody. Now what's really going to happen is... This needs to be a bomb trap. Obviously. That's how it works. That has to be a bomb trap. You're fine until you get too close and the hologram disappears. It's a hologram bomb trap and you'll be backing out suddenly and get shot. Maybe. Now I could make this a diagonal piece. Like so. You know. Right there. Yes, corn is wonderful. It's got the juice. And it sweetens almost everything. There's probably corn syrup in this Red Bull. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's got the juice. Okay, so I'd like to put a red cube of terror right here. You see, the reason why I'm putting a red cube of terror here because it forces a player to kind of wiggle around it. You know, you're forcing a player to kind of go, okay, what's, what's going on here? Oh, no. You see? He wants to go over here. There'll be a bum right there. And I'd like to maybe put a trap facing this other way. Yeah, right, right here.
if they so chose to enter. They'll be pulled this way. And this right here can be a cube. You see? This can be a grappler. Like so. You'll be pulled right through the corner of that cube. And you won't know what to do. Yes, Brandon. Back in 1993, when Jewel was on the radio, and uh, Doom, you know. So this game reminds me very much of... It has a quick aesthetic on the enemies, you know, a little bit. But the actual game itself reminds me of, of like, a really good map-building system for Doom. Because you can easily, like, do this. You know, you could... You see, I just choreographed that character. I had this trap situation over here, you see? Up and around, up and around. All these walls turn dis... You know, whatever. Just doing something here. It's a, it's a mild aesthetic. Okay, coming over here. Coming over here. There's nothing for you. No, no, no. You can enter if you want to. So I'll make it a bit more scary and confusing by having this garbage everywhere. For the most part. I'll, I'll try to alternate a little bit. But what this does does is it's really, really confusing. You know? For players. It's scary. You know, you don't know what's a trap, what's not a trap. You're going around and say, oh my gosh, all these sound effects. It's horrible. I'm just going to put this around for a second. And then I'll throw in some other stuff in with it. some lights and everything. Uh-huh. All this over here. I think if they're paying attention, they'll realize right away what is a block and what ain't a block just by paying attention. If you're really careful. So if you go in here, this block right here is going to be a holographic block, and then right behind it is going to be a dart. Okay? On that back wall, oh, oh, we've reached the edge. Cool. That's what I like. We've reached the limit of the base construction. The cool thing is, um, me putting this garbage on the walls doesn't take away from the uh, base limit. Doom gave you your first jump scare? Yeah, so I'm lucky enough to have grown up in the generation of that, you know? When people were talking... So, when I entered uh, the army, you know what I mean? I was slightly... I don't know, I felt like I was slightly older than other people. A tiny bit. Like, there's still... You know, because as you enter, there's always new people entering the army... And they're always around the age 18, because that's what age you enter, you know? Ugh. Mm -hmm. And uh, people were talking about GoldenEye. Xbox just came out, you know, at that time, and people were saying... Halo reminds me of Goldeneye. And I kept saying, it reminds me of Doom. Or I kept ref referencing PC first-person shooter games. You know, you have... There's a bunch of stuff that came out. I'll, I'll name a bunch of weird things. Like uh, Heretic and Hexen. Uh, you have... You know, of course... Wolfenstein 3D. 
quake doom, you know? Uh, the doom was the Wolfenstein 3D was the was the not the first, but sort of the first first person shooter. Maybe the same company that made Doom, you know? But Quake was the first, I believe, 3D first person shooter. Where it was actually three dimensional. Three dimensional using polygons. And um Doom just used sprites. It was sprite based, you know? Sort of like Mario Brothers. But there'd be an animation, like a cartoon of a person running this way. And if you go sideways, it looks sideways. And, you know, different things. It had a three-dimensional, two-dimensional map. And the illusion of elevation. But you couldn't go under a staircase, for example. You know? And if you were to aim at a flying enemy, or if you were to aim at something up, up on a cliff... If you line up with them, you automatically shoot them. You don't have to aim up. You can't aim up in Doom. Original Doom. You know? It's all two-dimensional. Even though there's ramps and so forth, you can't go under the ramp. But in Quake, you could. You even got this thing going on here. Get a few of these blocks all set up here. Because we've hit the limit, so I just want to get some of these things going. Up and around, and I'll just a little bit, not too much. A little bit. This, this. This. See, I'm working with a very specific budget here, you know. We're working with the budget here. Right there. We're working with something. Something dire. Mm hmm. Okay, that's fine. And one of those. One of these. Alright. Some of those, some of that, some of that. Cool. Cool. Alright, that's all for now. And then I'll just add a few more lights over here. Right there. Let you know there's a there's a secret way in if you want it. There's several secret ways in and several secret ways out. And I'll, I'll light them up for you. Y'all want out? Come on and get it. This is your way out, pal. You have options. You have the options. You have the ability to leave this place if you wanted to. Okay? I'm letting them know how to leave. Because I'm being nice about it. Mm-mm-mm. Right over here. Some rat's nest of pain. Mm hmm I could uh, put a holographic cube right here. Or, sorry, one of these things. Because it becomes nasty. It becomes real, real, really painful. Now, what I could do... But could I? No, I can't. I can't, really. I was going to remove that block, put a gripper over here, but it doesn't work all that well. Not when you're at an angle. Let's see what happens. I'll put the gripper right here. There it is. Can I make it phase two or no? I don't have it unlocked, but we'll just see what happens. I'll add a few more of these cosmetic flims and get to stepping. Block that out. Block that in. There you go. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's uh, that's good enough for now. Uh-huh. 
That's good enough for now. I think. I could add one more. One more hazard. We have 20 more points to... No, we're at max level. Okay, cool. So active and I'll leave. All right, that's two. That's two. Monument to your strength and cunning. Yes. Okay, so now I have to go do somebody else's map for a second. Let's go figure out which one to do. How about this one? How about this one? Okay. My goal is to do it, uh, to choose a level that fills up this bar here. I have to do this for this currency so I can then upgrade another base. Yeah. So I'm doing somebody else's base. That red base I had was really good. That small yellow base is just a small yellow base. Or that base you just saw. That's just a, a thing with a couple traps in it. You have to have uh, compounds of varying difficulty. Tell you what, so many players completely ignore this, and it's just crazy. Uh, this is a weird one. Yeah. Well, somebody built some weird garbage up in the sky. Let's see what's up with that. Okay, here we go. It's time for the rumble. <laughs> yep, it's walking on through. Yep. Nothing's gonna stop me now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, after building these bases for a bit, I know what to look for. Mars, good 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 day to you. You jumped the bike today, twenty feet came down hard in the middle. Oh my gosh. You you rode your bike and you jumped twenty feet. And you landed hard, and now you have issues with the perineum. Is that is that what's called? Is that is that perineum? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. You're having issues with the with the perineum. Sorry about that. Maybe uh, uh like a, a a warm pillow. Sit on a warm pillow. We use medical jargon around here. Oh my god, it's black. It's not good. It's not good. Hemorrhaging of the perineum. Internal vascular damage. Move. Punk. 
species. You're not gonna get this guy. There, there could be a lot of phase two traps, you know. You always gotta worry when you don't see any traps. Insert a uh, meme of Key and Peele sweating hard when you go through the dungeon and see no traps. Oh. Oh. America. 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 Oh, yeah. That was silly. I thought it would, it would kill them. I was saying that was silly to put a bunch of enemies behind or in front of a dart trap. Had them all die. Speaking of dart traps, have you all seen the new trailers for the Indiana Jones, the Dial of Destiny movie? You all seen the new trailers for the Indiana Jones movie? What do you think? You think it's going to be good? Did you all see the, the the last Indiana Jones movie? Did you like it? With the aliens? The crystal skull thing? But I'll tell you what, um... I think it's going to be good, this movie, because uh, it's called The Dial of Destiny, so that... That implies time travel, and I'm pretty sure it's going to feature a um, digitally de-aged Harrison Ford playing a younger version of himself. It might even feature a Sean Connery, perhaps. You know, it might have. He might be going back in time to all the previous Indian Indiana Jones movies. I'm hyped. Marvel style. I don't agree that the word sadist is a bad word. Debbie Downer? Is, is that the bad word? Facebook tried to censor you there, Brandon. I don't know what... It, is the word downer a bad? Don't be such a downer. They're very sensitive here. I say no. I say it's okay. You could use the word status. It's not a bad word. Since when is that, is that a bad word? What kind of quake nonsense is this? Exactly. So check out this. Entering phase two. So if you notice, there weren't many traps during phase one. Meaning, I got to the middle of the maze. And there it is. It wasn't that much of a maze either. There weren't many traps, which means... This place is going to be crazy. So that will probably be a trap. So watch this. Oh, good thing I had my shield. Whoa. You got to be ready for the kill boxes. Yep, phase two is full of traps, oh no. Okay, here we go. Oh no. Whoa. I'm trying to earn the currency so I can then prestige my bases. You have to have five active bases to get this passive income. This game is great because you, you earn a bunch of resources when you're not playing. Whenever players go through your base, you know what I mean? Whenever you activate your base, it gets put on some list of potential bases that people can cycle through. I'm not quite sure how they cycle through, 
or how the matchmaking works or whatever. But I think there is some sort of matchmaking because you have your own personal rank and the base itself has some sort of level. Let's see, if I wanted to, I can make a clean escape right there and skip this whole thing. Ouch, that hurt. It's possible, you know. But I think this guy is expecting that. So there could be a trap right there. But I just put down my Phoenix pod, so I'm safe. I'm gonna try it out. Wish me luck. I win! <laughs> oh yeah! You get nothing, sir. You get no votes. Oh yeah. Ba do 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 do. One of our outposts extracts nothing but dirt. Ah, uh, it means it's it empty. Through me. Okay, what do we get? What do we get? Munache. Munache. Let's watch somebody go through one of my bases, shall we? This is one of my smaller bases, but it's a death trap. Munache. Where are you, Munache? Show yourself to me, Munache. Uh. <laughs> Unwatched. Munache. person died five times but I've, I've since modified it since this point so I guess we'll watch uh, this one this one no not that one this one not that one this person been to my base multiple times no but I can't organize by outpost failed all raids Organized by name. Anyways, I want to pull up the Munache. Just for a second. I already know what happened in that one, but whatever. Uh, here we go. This one's good. Munache. If that's the if that's the name. Oh yeah. So I'm not disappointed that this game isn't really open world or anything. Okay, here's somebody entering my base. Let's see if this is my current rendition, because I've since modified. I think it is. It's uh, not. This is not my current rendition, because I've since cleaned up the bottom here. But we'll see. <laughs> this is going to be pretty effective, though. Person's going to die. What are you doing? You're going to die, buddy. I'll fast forward. You got it, pal. You got it. What will happen to Sigur 1996? See, he goes forward out of fear. He sees the kill box of Doom. It's not some sort of impossible kill box. It's a medium difficulty kill box. He missed! Alright, cool. Prestige this base, making some small changes. I will overcome any weakness that lingers. I will overcome any weakness that lingers within my body. My body. 
Okay. Yes, the perfect dark gun. Yep. Or in perfect dark, you shoot through. Yeah. That, that was a good game. Look at all these deaths. Hilarious, I know. Yeah, so I've since modified it. See, I put this stuff down here. See, I put this stuff in here and hidden so it, it looks a bit better. I'll go ahead and prestige it now. Yeah. Welcome to the rest of your life. Life, life, life. Okay. I'm just going to add a few more things here. That's a lot of bodies. <laughs> That's a lot of bodies. Yep. Yep, you can do what you want to. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some players will try to throw grenades. Some players will try to throw grenades. All right. So they're creeping on through. They're creeping on through. They're flying around this area. I could put a couple random things here and there. Sure, I'll make some aesthetic changes. I'll add some ramps up in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, it's really easy to uh, build a base here in this game because it lets you copy a piece. You don't have to go back through the menu to get something. So I can copy that light. There you go. That's a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Welcome to my flim. Welcome to my flim. Don't be afraid. Go on and enter. If you want to. Enter. 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 I know you want to. There's nothing scary about this place. Not this place. Good job. 
Yeah, I didn't really play that much. Uh, I didn't really play that much Perfect Dark. Sorry, sorry. Um, I didn't play that much Goldeneye. I don't think I had an N64. I had other systems at the time, you know? I even had a Dreamcast at one point. I, I was on the Sega side of the Nintendo-Sega dichotomy. You know, back in the old days, there was like a... Back in the... Right now, it's between Xbox and PlayStation. In the old days, it was Nintendo and Sega. And Nintendo lost horribly. They lost so bad that Sonic is now owned by Nintendo. Isn't it? Pretty sure. Alright, I think this base is almost good. Symmetry is key. Sometimes. Okay, we have a few more traps I can add. Just traps of annoyance. You know? Just a few more traps. It's fine. As a person enters this room, I could have a block over here, pull them sideways, and then into a lava brick. Now, I, could, I could have this grappling hook over here, pull them in to this wall, and then stab them on the side. Bam. That's if they're trying to go in this pit and they're kind of being careful. You gotta sort of be careful with that. Here, I'll put a different block over here. It needs to be a, a bit larger. Angled a little bit. You can get a preview of the range of the trap. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. That's not good enough, people. It has to be perfect. But I think this m might be better if there's a ramp. Because it kind of elevates them. Just for a second before they go in. You know, you're kind of... You have to squeeze up in there. Like this. And on that note, I could totally flip this. And that. And this. Bring that forward. And like so. Okay, there's a few more blocks here and there. Aesthetically pleasing. And now you're over here. Get this graphic going around. These blocks. And this is a secret way in if you so chose. I want people to go over here. Right there. And now what? Once you squeeze your way through, I think that's fine right there. Boom. This right here can be a holographic cube. You won't even see what's behind it until it's too late. Same thing over here. This is uh, non-existent. There it goes. Holographic cube right there. Same thing over here. Holographic cube right there. There. You'll be dropping in right here and you get shot from both angles. With bombs on the top with no escape. No escape. I can have a walkway go across. Just to make it feel a bit more organic. Get these things in the corner. Like we're in some hot area. In need of ventilation. Mm -hmm. Let's add more lights down here. They have to see that there's something down below. 
worth their time. Right down there. Right down there. I could put the stencil. It's always nice to have a stencil to help players see that there's something good. Something good down below. Yep, right there. And that one. Really obvious. Let's go. Yeah. Look down in the hole. You'll find your treasure. Super obvious. Let's go. And once you're down here, I'll put a skull visible right here on this wall. there. Cool. Alright, that's a bit better than before. Yeah, I can just cap off this whole lower area just to avoid confusion. Just to avoid confusion. All that. Welcome to the Skunk Works. Smelly over here. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Got that weird bright thing going on. Let's add more of these vents. Make the whole place feel a bit more organic. over here, nothing over here. Let's just make sure it looks okay. Got this bright thing. That column. Some other red lights. Nothing else for you over here. Some of this stuff here in the corner. You know. Like that. Nice. These ramps going. Right over here. Right there. Go all the way across. He's trying to seal away this whole avenue until they go straight ahead. Waste their time. Looking for the actual brick. There it is. There we go. So, it's going to fill in some of these gaps here. There's a trap on that block. There is a trap. There you go. Right there in the corner. Because we can. Perhaps. Uh-huh. It all has traps. But not this other one. Place these bricks right there. Mm 
Mm-hmm. And there you go. It's not really a pyramid, just more of a natural structure. Or not natural, I mean, more of a man-made thing. There you go. There we go. It's more like it. The rest can be little brickies if it needs to be. Just gonna put this stuff here and there. Make it seem like I've been all around because I sort of have. Some, some sort of building in theory eventually I'll have it look like a skyscraper you know it's got to work with what with what they give you you have no option sometimes bit more of this building we're shaking I just gotta turn this random pile of garbage into something that looks normal it might even waste a player's time as they come up here to search I could turn it into a control tower or some other sort of aesthetic Control Tower 101. We're almost done. These random blocks. There we go. Almost done. Oh, I've I've reached the capacity limit. Good. Good, you see? Now it's all about fine tuning over time. I'll add some lights here and there, whatever. Some other lights. Here and there. Here and there. Random. Hmm. Right there. Okay. Just gonna get this light and put it here and there around. All these panels, you know, to make it feel a bit more natural. Right over there. Right there. Okay, and then uh, one more light. Because I want the players to go down there. That'd, that'd be kind of cool. And down here. Yep. And then let's add some industrial flim flam. Like this engine thing. Down here. I'll get a bunch of this stuff going on here. 
some of that aesthetic until it's time to swap it out again. Not so much the floor, but the walls, yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Nice and spread out a bit. Get that aesthetic going. It also makes some noise, you know. The different panels. They're so important for our industry. Okay, I'll put in some pumps and so forth. They are pretty important, you know. In theory. how the floor works. It's a gravity dampening system. Gravity dampening. 101. machinery down here. Okay. And I'll put down Add a couple more things over here. These moving weird parts. If I could find, if I could afford that AC, there it is. Right, I'm gonna throw in some of these ventilators. It's kind of old school, but that should do the trick. I think. Watch out. Watch out for your step. I'll add this walkway up and around in every other position that is not like that. For the most part. Just making this place a bit more, uh, you know, industrialized. Versus just a bunch of bedrock. And then we'll go from there, you know? Okay, and then anything else, maybe? Some of this weird med red stuff? It's pretty good, you know? Adds a whole layer to this aesthetic. It does, see? It's like crazy. Gripped by Flim Flam, we shall rise. So industrial. Just a bit. Just a little bit, you know? No big deal. Not all the way, just a little bit. On some of these funky old panels. Okay, let me get that walkway. So cool. But is it a walkway? I don't know. But 
Okay, that's a bit better. A bit better. Maybe a couple more weird lights and I'll be done. Okay, that might be good. All right. Activate. Bam. Done. Yay. We're at 2074 out of 2075. And it's active. That was base number two I just made. Or not made, but finalized and upgrade a little bit. A few upgrades. That's why it's nice to have these long-term prestiged bases. You have created a death trap. Raiders march to the slaughter. Slaughter. Why, thank you, kind sir. Let's do this one. Welcome to Sherwood. Population these guys. I'm trying to get my materials here. Let's activate these It's boosts. nice not having to worry about cannibals anymore. Trust cannibals. Me on that one. Doing cannibal things. Increased ammo capacity by five. <gasps> uh, Fifteen. That's a lot. And projectile launch, heavier projectiles. Hold on. Increased projectile launch speed. Heavier. Does that mean that they drop more? But they're faster. I don't know. Either way. Increased my ammo count is fine. The volt launcher. Increased the ammo capacity by zero. Okay. Reduced reload time by one. Second. Seems like a waste, but whatever. Might as well have it all the way. Uh-huh. When the very well. Plan life. I've Boost. got all your problem nope. solvers or all right. The cure rests within me. I the have no Phoenix pods. Are obsolete. Five. Okay. Boost. Let us see how you can better serve the nope. goodbye. If we hold the and cure, we'll decide how this world is shaped. Exactly. Upgrade guard? No. The Boost. intelligence on these creatures is Prestige. limited, but their fury is very real. I like doing this only when I have all five of my flim flams prestiged. All five of my outposts. We once worked with the sanctuaries we now fight. Active. That last buff increases the prestige income at all my outposts, but I have a few of them offline right now, so it's really This silly. is far from the job. I, I need the sense bite for an hour. Oh no, I spent the money. I spent the money now. Good boo. How's the thing can suiting you, custodian? Custodian? Ah! Tin can. I'm a tin can custodian. Without gen mat, our genetically modified bodies will bodies. break down and die. Okay, so now I just need a bit more. So I could upgrade old Beth page is the one I really want to upgrade. Um, I have three active right now. Good old Beth page and Zwingle. But we're doing some raiding right now. Right over here to Grand Island, Michigan. Or whatever. I'm trying to level up these things, so. Corrosive Cube 11, Bolt Shot 8, Traps 38, Guard 3. Sounds good to me. Ooh wee. Blip. And blap. What you think about that? How you know how it feels. All right, don't you go anywhere. We're about to rock and roll. Phoenix pod and my shields and my gun. Now I have 15 shots. Very long range. Mastered. Of 
cool. Well, I'll be right back, okay? We shall continue on. Okay. Uh, I'm back, are you? I'm back, are you? Let's knock out a few of these missions so I can get these points that I need to get on by. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Easy. Easy. Am I firing faster? <laughs> okay. Well, gotta be careful. Still easy. Still easy. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, 
That was very close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Clearing out this place, checking all these walls as I go. Craft destroyed. Craft destroyed. Checking for holograms. Invisiblewall.com I've already been shooting these Some of the four Will probably be fake You know Maybe Nope Behind the wall Yeah. Hmm. Here we go. Every mission I use a Phoenix pod and a couple shields. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Nice and smooth. It's really fun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Really quick, I don't feel scared at all. Yay. Yay. <laughs> that was pretty easy, huh? Level one to easy, that was good. Eventually I'll be shifting over to the brutal levels. I'm, I'm just concerned about the time it takes, but it might be worth it. Eventually I'll have to because it's taking a bit longer to level up these advisors over time. So long as a pure climb will become salvation. Okay, Lone Oak. Holograph, uh, cro corrosive cubes and bolt shots and... Alright, let's go. I gotta do it. A few more. For an hour or so. For an hour or so. Okay. One second. I'm trying to uh, configure my headphones. Alright, let's just put these forsaken tombs. But it's probably all concealed up, so let's go. Big old crazy dungeon. Time to begin. Might be easy. It's probably easy. The player that made this didn't take any time to make it look good, which means they probably don't care about other things in life. You know? They didn't take their time to make it look good, so... It probably sucks. Perhaps. Enemies armed patrol, so they're not absolute idiots. Got me, I can't believe it. 
I really mentally thought that that voice was the sound of the warmonger, not the grenade dude. I thought it was a melee guy, and it was confusing me why there's a melee guy around the corner. But it wasn't melee. Lesson learned. That guy. The deadly cannon dude. There you go. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're good to go there. Let me go across the way. We have a hidden wall here. I'll poke my head around the corner. Yeah, that's the sound of the warmonger. And maybe I also heard a warmonger. I feel like this room here is going to be much harder on phase two. A bunch of grippers. Oh, there. And another. Mm -hmm. All my shots are in the wall. What the heck? Hmm. Way over here? Through the wall? Oh, I think they fell through the cubes. Yeah. Well, that's upsetting. Good thing I had 15. I lost some of my shots through those lava cubes. Pretty rough on phase two, I can tell. Okay, here we go. Now I'll rather wreck if I die. But just not die, but if I do, I'll be good to do. I am looking up. And down. And all around. This room might be filled with grippers. Hmm. Or not. Huh. Huh. Or not. Mission accomplished. Yay. All done. Again, I have rated the mission and we're done. More. And again, impaler bolt shot. I can knock out a bunch of these before going over and do, doing something else. I'm looking for the forsaken. But it's probably hidden. So here we go. Yep. Awesome. 
that was easy. So I'll put down my shield. Get ready for the resurrection. Here we go. Easy peasy. I don't want to die accidentally. That was an easy one, wasn't it? Oh yes, it was. Hope y'all doing okay. Alright. All done. Again, I can knock him out back to back. Yes. I need about 700 of the Cynthia material. Okay, what do we got? This one? We got something or other. Corrosive cube, some other garbage. Let's do it. No hidden blocks over here. Uh huh. I'm just looking. That's not good. Let's not go that way. Let's go this way. <laughs> that that's the optional death trap direction. I'm sure I'll have more access into the team room. Right through the walls. Hmm. I see you. I don't hear any more enemies. Getting it. Wouldn't be prudent. No. So, I wonder where that other. other room was. Okay, so now I have a respawner. Okay, here we go. Destroyed trap. Okay, we're done. All done. Whoopsie. It's 
Sorry, friend. You're done. Yay. <clears throat> Amazing. And again. Once I get about 700 of this resource, I'll be good to go. Traps. Impaler hollow cube. That should be fun. A bunch of hollow cubes, you say? Now I know. But he made these traps be really obvious, so... That's a whole lot of material, I'll tell you what. No, oh, my feet touched the lava. My poor feet. Aha, you see? Probably a grenade launcher, nope. Scary, wasn't it? Yep. I had very little room to move there. I'm not quite sure where the other one came from. <clears throat> but he was there, Rich. He's still here. Somewhere. Probably a round two trap situation here. I'm still not quite sure where that other dude went. Maybe a trap killed him. Okay, are we good now? That was good, huh? That worked. Can't get me. That's not a good trap placement. It's really obvious. If anything, it'll make you slow down as you're running away from those dudes up the hill. You know? Good thing I put down the phoenix pod, huh? That was silly of me not turning around and checking that obvious trap. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Now I gotta be really careful. That wasn't really a death. Oh my gosh, I survived. I was in the very edge of the corner. Oh no. Oh no. Those bums are hard to... Some plan. I think it broke each other.
All right. All righty. Wasn't that awesome? And again, fun. Oh yeah. I didn't really die. Almost. Let's do this one right here. Corrosive cube, bolt shot, 50 traps. That's a lot of traps. That's a lot of traps. Jeez. Okay, I have no more Phoenix pod after. That was five. Let's get more. traps in here. Maybe 50 whole traps in this crazy spot. 50 traps. Found the route down here. Kind of a nasty, a nasty structure. Good. Okay, we're working our way on through the building. Guard killed. All tiles. I'm searching for potential holograms. We're working our way on through deliberately, not dying. I've been using Phoenix pods on every level, you know. I think it only costs 10 per or something, or 20. Tin, whatever it is, material. I heard some creature. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Well, there's an exit here. That's interesting. Exit. Shortcut. Super shortcut. Of 
right there. Let's not forget about that. In fact, I'm just gonna leave some bullets on the ground. To remind myself of the exit. Okay, here we go. This room... Oh, no! No! Ah. I was gonna say, this room's gonna be a death trap. Okay. But now I know this one is mainly easy. holographic walls yet okay there's no holographic walls as I recall Careful from these easy peasy traps. You don't want to die. Be traps here on phase two. Gotta be careful. I died right over here. Right there to my right. These walls can have traps on them. Okay, here we go. Gotta wait for a second. We'll look around. Homing darts. Homing darts. I see. Mm -hmm. 
No. Oh my gosh. Yeah, those things do home in. Oh no, gotta be careful. Eventually, I won't have to change anything really to my bases. I'll just have to upgrade the traps. No, stop it. The heck? Around the corner. Those homing darts can really kind of go around the corner a little bit. It makes it a bit harder to predict the line of sight and break. Is that the route? No. Traps had two mods in them. But that was exciting. Oh my gosh. Exciting. Fun. Mm hmm. Is that enough? I'm waiting until I have over 700, you know. Evolve the chimera. Those who wrap a specific secret to immunity cannot evade us forever. Forever. Alright, cool. 808 beat. 808 drop. Let's go into old Beth page and upgrade that thing a bit. Because the actual trap itself is very, very, very simple. It's really about having fun shooting those bad guys. I'm trying to add more over time. You could have up to 20. So, I'll prestige it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll add more. More. And I'll make sure to have some of them have higher armor than others. Mm -hmm. This one will have higher armor. I'm having this one serpentine all the way up. Serpentine. And then spiral around this thing. A bit higher. And then back down. Okay, and then another one. Same thing. Give it armor. And make it fly. gets you pretty fast. Done. And I think that's it for the number of dudes. Oh, I could take off his armor. And then add another one. There we go. Just a bunch of enemies. Okay. 
done. So how many of these do I have? I have 13. Nice. Okay, I think maybe I should just remove the armor from all of them. Make sure. Remove all. Remove all. Oh. That check. There we go. So I could, I could have more, you know? I'd rather have more. If I have access beyond the maximum, then I'll start upgrading them. But I think just having overwhelming numbers is pretty good right now. Get you in the way out. He runs down the hallway. Let's see if I can remove something. Yeah, so I think I'll remove this trap, okay, just to be confusing, and I'll add something on the wall there. Something on the wall, like this. All these walls, see, nice and secure. Okay, cool. And then I'll make it active again. Maybe. I was trying to clear up room so I could put another uh, flyer out here. Maybe. Yep. Oh, they're swarming. Done. Let's just see how that feels. Let's just see how it feels to have this many enemies in my face. Huh? Welcome to Gardetto's. A family company. Gardetto's and Son. So if I shoot one... Pretty cool. All oh, these dudes. Nope. 
to my own base. Awesome. So I'll activate it and exit outpost. And now we have my bases are good to go. That might be all five. It could be all five. Welcome to the wasteland. Good job. Your outpost kills another. Mm -hmm. This is how we save the world. This is how One we do. death at a time. And now I need more of these points. I have to grind more points. Let's go buy more of these items. Consider hardware that will save you in times of trouble. Yes, I will, actually. Flash override. Okay, Phoenix Pod cost 30. Oh, I, I just purchased 10. Wow. Okay, well, that'll work. Hmm. The dumbest raiders don't look up, so position some guards above. You'll be back. Get me out there. I'll take on the world. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going back out there right now. What do you say? Another person died at my base, and that's okay. Let's go earn more of everything, hmm? Let's go for this one. Bolt shot, corrosive cube, traps, and whatever. Let's do it now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll do an, um, a bunch of these back to back. A bunch of these back to back, clap clap, until I run out of supplies. Random enemy. Alright, let's go. The demonstrators don't look up. You don't say. Mm -hmm. So we're about to go put down my, my Domi Poo. I should be safe. Right there. So I think I'm not going to use it all the time. I'll use it when I need it. Uh, I was using it every single round. So this one here wasn't all that long. It's not that bad. Yep, not that bad at all. Mm 
Yay, I got the stuff. Goodbye. Eureka. I found it. I found it. I found something. Okay, let's go do Bartonville. I have to do a few more of these things to get the points I need. Perhaps, like, a lot more? Like, five more? Alright, let me go, uh... If y'all are still with me, let me uh, go remind the people, and I'll be right back, okay? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'll be right back in two seconds.
Yeah, man. Yeah. Here we go again. Another mission. I'm trying to knock out a bunch of these missions back to back, okay? It doesn't take that long and it's pretty exciting. We get to see people's creativity. See what the game has to offer. And the possibilities of trap placement. To build muscle memory of what to look for. We're trying to figure trying to maximize survival here. Hey there, Mars. Yeah, we're, we're trying to stay alive here, but not go at a snail's pace. All these traps. Yeah. Good stuff. So cool. Yes. Okay, we're about good here. Alright, so... I am going to put down my... Shield right now. Shield. Okay. Oh, I don't want to die. So, I'll put that Phoenix pod down. I survived, people. I went down some hidey holes. We have an air trap. There we go. So again, I'll be live with this for a, a couple more hours until I get my bases set up and then I'll be crossing over to uh, Valheim. Done. Cool, and then I'll do another one and another one and another one and another one. Faster and faster still. Hey there, Alex. How's it going? What's your favorite munchy food there, Alex? Do you like candy? Do you like chips? What's your favorite chip? Do you like pork rinds? Are you a pork rind fan? Do you like chicharrones? Are you a fan of the chicharrones? Or whatever that's called. What's your favorite candy? Alex. All right. Uh, munchos. Cheese fix chips. Or oh, the munchies. Munchos. The the snack by Doritos with a bunch of different stuff in it. With the Doritos in it and pretzels and uh, Cheetos. Mixed together. I hear a Forsaken Tomb, but it's covered up. Thank you. I'm trying to grind that Cynthia. Mm -hmm. 
Not today, pal. This ground here can't be holographic, it's just certain types. I think it's really fun going through my bases and upgrading them a, l a little bit at a time. Whenever I prestige, after learning lessons. The lessons being learned. Oh, you like warheads? They're out of control. Warheads are pretty darn sour back in the day. Back in the day, I used to eat those. I haven't I haven't had warheads in a long time. Burn a hole in your tongue. Races are pretty awesome. Races are pretty awesome. You know. The I think the small peanut butter cup is pretty good. The ratio of chocolate to peanut butter, you know. The long thin ones are pretty good too. I guess. Oh boy. That was almost a mistake there. Okay, we're about to encounter some stuff here. That's for sure. Some round two trips. Oh, sorry. Some round, round two traps. I'm afraid of sidewalls. I don't like the, the sidewalls being bedrock, you know. It could, it could hold a trap. So before I was saying... Before I was saying it, it's nice to have a bunch of garbage on the walls, like Applebee's, you know. Or TJ Friday's. To hide the trap because it makes light and noise. But in reality, having nothing on the walls hides traps for phase two because you don't know where they might be but if you have every single wall decorated with a decal and some sort of object and all of a sudden you have a blank space it's a blank space for a reason especially if the blank space is like right there you know? if every slanted wall is normal except for that one that's going to be a trap but that will be a trap So, I guess not. Woo! Just that, huh? Let my guard down. Perhaps that was the plan. You put it in the obvious spot. And, you know, like, cause this is normally a, a good trap spot as you go up and over the ledge. But I think because you're already conscious of a trap being there. You, you're still on edge as you go over the edge. So it's best to put the trap once they let their guard down. I think it's a shame that Fortnite Save the World never really took off. You know? Now it's just La La Land with... Use, the f uh, use Fortnite assets in Unreal to make your own in-game content and check out the world that players can make. It's like a, a game-making game. Sort of thing. I liked Fortnite Save the World a little bit. But let's not die. Ah, that scared me! Oh my gosh! I'll get your blood flowing. Who needs to run around the block?
Bye. Woo. I tell you what. Nature Valley peanut butter chocolate wafer by Nature Valley. Many of the chimeras will yes. Someday the genetic sequence will be complete. Again. Again. I'm trying to earn 700 of that special material. Just gotta do a bunch of these back to back for a bit. Okay. They're fast enough. Just time myself. Time, time, time. Yeah, you see? I'm trying to I'm trying to understand what's possible. And the trend. All these trends. The trends of having traps by traps. Traps by traps by traps. Clusters of traps. By traps by traps. I have to go over there. It's dangerous, but I have to. I had to because I had no ammo. Okay, here we go. Am I good? No! Oh my goodness gracious. I'm good now. That was fun. And then we keep on going. By Lamos. Let the rhythm take you over by Lamos. Yeah. No, you stupid fool! Oh, I missed him on the first shot. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Okay. All right, now I have to raise my my cockles again. I have to get back on high alert. But I don't have to shoot any of these walls. There were a couple holograms like that one. If I could remember the placement of every last trap from last time, again, that'd be fantastic. It's hard for me to go back through an area that I've already been through and try to forget what I've already cleared. But lesson learned, huh? <laughs> he got killed by the trap. That's cool. He got killed by the trap, folks. Uh 
huh? That's the loser that shot me last time. I was trying to go faster than normal, you know? Which is why I said, find me. And then I get all flim flammed up. Now this is all new, new territory. I'm gonna dip in, dip out. Dip in, dip out. Dip in, dip out. Oh my gosh. These guys have chest armor. You have to get them with a the headshot unless you use the armor piercing around. Which is dangerous. And they kind of lean over to right? Or you get them with a one two slider. No! Oh my gosh, I just fell through the ground. <gasps> that was so scary. And now what? Game over? Great. Alright, cool. So it's not game over. <laughs> It could have been. Just gotta go the back through the front door. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 face now. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Well, the only option is that being a trap, so. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now I'm perfectly fine. I'm safe. I put down the Phoenix Pond, so if I die at this point, it'll not reset everything. But I can only throw it down after I pick up the gen mat. Otherwise, it'll reset once I pick up the gen mat. Let me zip over there. Zip over there. All those crazy round two traps, I tell you. Bye. Bye now. Again. Don't want to take too long on some of these levels. You know. Again. Airheads. They're out of control. Let's go for this one. Russo. Why not? Mm-hmm. 
I must steal the gen mat. I must acquire the gen mat and the forsaken tomb. Isn't it amazing that people don't don't protect the forsaken tombs? What is going on here? Faster. Faster. Yeah. Yeah. Bingo, bingo, who's doing the up tempton plan? Well, the trap itself blew up. Interesting. I know that's the thing. It forces the person to scramble away when they otherwise wouldn't be on their two with two. But if they have one, they, they probably have more than one. Like that one. They probably have more than one that blows up, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Only option is that being a uh, trap. And that. I don't want to start over, so there's my respawn. I sensed it, folks. Cool. That's a weird strap placement. I guess they're hoping that you're meant to the right or something. Or something. Um. Green giant. Okay. We're trying so hard. Get on by. Not every bomb or not every traffic floats, which makes it a bit more scary. I hear a bunch of weird that like Meyer Brothers over here. Crazy town dot com. Mm -hmm. No, no, we it's a good thing those traps make a big old loud noise before activating, you know. Lots of indicators, lots of reaction time. You just have to know where to run to. Quite often a person scrambles and they jump up into a pit of doom. Yay! Another one bites the desk. Again. Fun. If I say yay or something. For the most part, I'm giving most of these bases the fun rating. Alright. Do it. It's so entertaining. Let's go. Can you do the flim flam? Yeah. 
Easy peasy peasy with the peasy peasy easy. No! Uh, it's easy. Whatever. That was me being stupid. It's only because I missed the, the thing. I didn't want to drop all the way down. I wanted to drop right before it, like that. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get this person kills. Okay, so now I know. Now I know. I'm still getting it. See, I don't think I lose anything when I die. Let me try to, um... Shoot that wall on the side if I could. There it is. It's gonna drop me though. There we go. I had to figure it out. The death hole. There are going to be holograms. Okay. Lots of return trip flim flam going on here. Okay, this is going to be a death trap from all four angles. There, 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 and there. So, what I have to do is I have to move forward, put down the dome. Very right, good. So now I'm safe. I can move through nice and quickly. Without any worries in the world. Nope. Oh my gosh. Good thing I have my Phoenix pod. The problem is I have no, uh... The problem is I have no... My... Those guys had armor on them, and I... You know... Didn't have the stuff on me. All right. Mm -hmm. But now I can go nice and fast. I have no more uh, shields, though. That's upsetting. So, this is going to be a hard thing, if I recall. I'm going to be careful with my shots here. I'm going to be careful with my shots here. Because i got to hit him in the head. Kind of crazy. Yay. <laughs> Woo. Tell you what. Scary times in Richmond Avenue. Ow. 
I'm all out of my uh, other shield thing. Oh my gosh. All these hidden walls. Hidden Valley walls. Basically, those are the walls where those enemies burst out of. They couldn't get out until it was time. And then they begin their patrol. Alright. That was exciting. Jeez. I tell you what. Five times. Uh, I'll say brutal. Because it killed me a couple times. Yeah. Maybe, maybe even ingenious. I want to be free from the evolution is under our control. It'd be cool if that thing started looking different over time. Is it? Wait, is it looking different over time? Is it getting more of a human body? No. Oh, it's time. Here's the dome. Back with the base, people. Okay, so I have to reactivate Zwingle. Right now. And it costs 700 and I have 750. That's good. Good old Zwingle action. Good old Zwingle. I don't need to watch the video. I just gotta upgrade the building. I know how they died. Let me recover all these goods. All this stuff here. Got this simple base. You come into my base, huh? You come into my base, you ask for things? I want to make a simple base with a bunch of tight traps, you know, no enemies. And then I made another base where it was all enemies and very few traps. That was my old Beth Page air base map. That's a phase two trap. Got all the stuff here. Artificial walls. So what I could do, let's go ahead and uh, prestige it now. So what I could do is blow up that back wall and add the grappling hooks. That's all. That's all. That's all. I need to be out of this prison. I need to be free. So says the Chimera Beast. Cool. You're in and then you're trapped. In a world of pain. Boom, there's nowhere to go. You think you're fine over here, but then you go back into a cube. There's nowhere to go. Okay. Just trying to make sure I have just a few more traps every time I do these upgrades. Even though there is a way out. Yeah. I'm going to uh, have this one have a dart shoot right over here. Okay. Boom. This one here could be a phase two trap, but I don't even own the phase two trap for that one. That's awesome. Get this paint going on. That wall. And this engine thing. Maybe. And boom. I 
I'll make this be like a secret entrance if you so wished to enter. Because you can if you want to. Skip everything. You know? I'll make it sort of obvious. Perhaps if a person wants to explore a bit, they can find it. And I can work on sealing off this whole bottom layer. That's always a nice thing to do. Help the player stay on target. Also, I don't know where my Forsaken Tomb is here. Well, actually, I, I do. There's only one. Now, these blocks here could be artificial. Right here. And I could put down some spikes. Right here. Maybe just a couple deep. No big deal. Like that, there's no escape. There is no escape. First of all, I'll put a holographic block right here. And... And... Impalers. No. We're all done. Which means I'm just going to seal off the bottom here. Those are traps. It's fine and obvious. Seal off the bottom besides where I want them to go. Don't you know. Make it nice for them. Make it easy for them to figure out. Which way to go? But I do want—I do want this secret route to be obvious. Let me seal off this thing. Add a ramp, some lights, and help these enemies out. Yep. Yeah. I'm sealing up all these options. I do appreciate the existence of an undo button. You know? And there we are. Outpost capacity has been reached. So now... I could get a ramp going on here. Have to start sliding some blocks around. Basically, re removing blocks that you'd never see because they're kind of hidden in these inner workings to then give myself more capacity to add more blocks someplace else. Alright, every block is needed. As it is. Maybe. Okay. I do want players to come down here. All the way down, perhaps? Mm, I don't know. Let's get rid of all these lower blocks. I do want them to enter via here. But not so much underneath. All these gray blocks are gone. Cool. Cool. This lower area. You know. Doesn't need to be navigatable. Doesn't need to exist. Oh boy. Uh. Oh my gosh. Give me a second, please. Mm hmm. This whole section over here is not meant to be accessible. It's not meant to be accessible. So, I'm going to block it off if I could. 
like that. And und. The best possible. Like that. Yes. And then I could maybe do that. And add some lights down there because that's where I want them to go. There you are. And I'll plug up these holes here. Because it just becomes confusing. I think. For players. They have all these extra blocks hanging out over here. So I'm just going to cap off this structure here. Capped off and and I think that's about right. We got that block over there with a ramp. Hmm. That ramp doesn't need to exist. What about these pieces? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm, I'm just fine-tuning the flim here. Whoops. 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 There you go. Now, I just want to make it sort of clear that players can enter into this chamber if they so wished. That's all. I'm trying to do. You know? That's all I'm trying to do. Right there, the angle. Right there. Creating this lower area. You can enter if you so wished. Mm -hmm. Yep. Done. Done. Cool. That whole section. Good to go. Lights going down below, perhaps block right there. Okay, so all the rest of this I'm going to color red. And then we'll go from there. Just so it's kind of uh, looking like it was intentional. And then I'll start adding some other structures. Keep that white just to make it nice and obvious. But we'll see. Once I add some other lighting and so forth around, it'll be really obvious. point I shouldn't color everything because it'll start to be really obvious where the traps are so 
but now I'm going to place down the occasional generator and so forth. If you don't mind. Just a couple here and there, you know, no big deal. You're not meant to go down there, okay? So don't. So don't, please. crazy like okay so now I have to remove some paint from the occasional tile just to make it nice and sort of random a little bit these structures with these structures I'll add some lighting just to indicate there's something down here lights and not the other light and I'm gonna add some generators on the walls and so forth but not so much on that thing there for a second but not the ceiling put this grating down on the floor there we go it's a bit better this upper surface that's bedrock thing yep over here mm-hmm leave out a couple no big deal yep then I'll add some fans the big fan in the walls Just a few, no big deal. And then I, I'll throw in a, a, a few lights throughout this structure. More of a random thing. Random. 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 There you go. <sighs> OK. 
Okay. I'd like to block off this entire room, to be honest. You know what I mean? But I have to delete a block to do so. Every block is precious in the world. There we go. I got a block. I have the block. Sure. A few more of these. Uh huh. There you go. Bunch of air conditioners. And then back to the other weird structure. Okay. This whole place on lockdown. It's, it's like taking over. It's taking over the flims. It's hard to resist. Mm hmm. It's taking over, I say. A little bit. Just a little bit. Mm hmm. Gotta make it seem a bit intentional. Different levels of disrepair. This whole nasty old thing. Okay, I'll add more generators because it, they make light and noise. It's nice. Whatever. At the very least. I don't want them all to be climbed up. Just, just most of them. You know? Just most of them. Yep. There you go. Contrast. Yep. A few of those. Move the paint here and there. There you go. Move that paint job for a second. Cool, cool, cool. I'll copy this fan thing. I do like this fan thing. It feels appropriate sometimes. Just anything that makes motion is nice. There you go. But it can, boss. It can. It can, though. One well, of those are generators. Got that paint going on. Few more things. Let's put the uh, lights over here now. Make it really obvious and intentional. Come on, give me the light, please. Alright, cool. 
And I could, in theory, put this other skin on this stuff here. putting another skin on this right here yeah I want it to be kind of obvious down there just for a moment oh boy right there okay and I'll put a skull shape right here right there and then I'll put a skull shape right over there Right there. Cool. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. So I'll, I'll add a few more of these things up and around. Not all of it, just most of it. a nice smattering back and forth and again with the engine thing and this one as well grating just to make it seem like it's more of a surface more of a surface and then eventually I'll fill in all these gaps you know working with a very tight budget over here so tight fan. More of the fans. Some weird stack of garbage out here in the middle of the desert. Doing crazy stuff, you know? stuff. I'll get this light over here if I could. Probably can't. Alrighty. Now. Yeah, we're at the max budget. It's crazy, huh? Yeah, I'll mark it for you. Right now, there's no trap, though. Okay, I think this is good. Active, and I leave. That took a second. Oh, my. Just a second of my time. For you. Our grip on 
on the wasteland titans with each corpse in your outpost. All right. So now I have five active. It's wonderful. A bunch of them have died. Everything is good to go. So now I have to earn a bit more. So I'm, I'm sort of good to go now. So now I'm on the last portion of this stream where I just do a bunch of raiding. And I just gain a bunch of resources before I need them. You know? There is little uncorrupted genetic material remaining. Our cloned bodies will decay without it. And our great mm -hmm. project will die. You don't say. There we go. I purchased a bunch of flash barriers. It's not enough, though. Defensive hardware could help you. Mm -hmm. Taking down subclones is increased doing parts favor. rate. Cost too much. The uh, fact we need these creatures is my a outposts. constant reminder yes. of humanity's failures. No. All right. Other sanctuaries turned on us. So it has come to this. All right, and... I guess I used to talk with... Pro the machine helps, but you'd be surprised. I know what I'm doing here. All right, it's going to show me the exact... Blim plan. <laughs> Available. Suits only two. But I'm only using one. There is not enough gen mat in this world. The gen mat will be mine. To fight for it. We have to fight for the gen mat, people. Okay, so now we're <laughs> moving on to the next leg. Hopefully we can just get a bunch more and let this thing be on standby. So I'll be playing for another, let's say, 40 minutes or so before transitioning over to a nice solid chunk of Valheim. It'll be overlapping into the morning. And then I'll be heading back to this. Hello. Hello. Moan Plim Plam, won't you tell me your name? Okay. Let's knock out a few of these. Pretty please. Alright. Ought to be easy peasy. So easy. Gen mat is mine. This is the 
It's a pretty short one, hmm? Strange, even. Thank you. I think I've increased the item drop rate. Here we go. Yeah. I'm doing it. I have to use one Phoenix pod per mission. You knew. This is what I gotta do. Every single mission and one shield. I could be a bit more confident. It's sort of like having a teammate. You can be a, a bit more loosey goosey. That was easy. Oh, yeah. All done. Fun. Toasted jam. And again. I'll do the traps advisor. Or this one. Uh, seven enforcers, some impalers. I think eventually I'll be moving on to brutal. You know? I'm being as careful as I need to be. This really does feel like doom, and I, I love it. Yeah. See, this is pretty fun. Extra special chamber. With no traps. Good. How nice of you. I used to use grenades to clear out room, but now I don't have to. Okay. The heck with that sound effect. No sound effect here, buddy. I'm getting these alerts. Oh, I see. Good now. Gotta stay mobile. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Alright, so that wall opened up for that dude. Yes. Makes sense to me. Okay, I think we're almost done here. Jinx. Basically, if there's an enemy behind a wall, uh, behind a holographic cube that's set for phase two, that cube acts like a wall. And if you have that, the enemy kind of patrolling through the wall, they won't go through the wall until phase two. So basically, you, you unleash enemies to populate a space that weren't already there. So I can do something like that in one of my bases where I... Maybe all those cannon dudes I can have for phase two. Or half and half. Eventually, after a couple more prestiges, I'll have the budget to do such things. Alright, we're done here. Yeah. Fun. Fun, 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 till fun, fun, does fun, fun stuff. Yeah. Ooh-wee, 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 ooh-wee. Uh, what are you showing me? What are you showing me? People dying at my base? It's okay. It's okay. Bases are ready to prestige. Doesn't matter. Let's go down by Little Creek, Arkansas. Corrosive Cube 11, 8 bolt shot, 31 traps. Let's hurry up. Trying to get this guy over here. That guy's a cannon dude. That guy. I have good thing I have 15 shots, huh? Let's poke my head in. Boom. All the enemies in the world. Go up. That's pretty fun. <laughs> what do we have? What do we have? Excellent. Awesome. That was pretty fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think, uh, well, eventually I'll have some bases I like more than others in terms of my own bases. I have a pretty, uh, some pretty good bases. Other ones are more experimental and tiny. On purpose, just to reach the gen mat. Gen, gen mat reaping. At that last ba b a base I built, that was sort of a basic thing. A basic base. <laughs> oh, that was probably... Well... 
I thought that was gonna be a um, a grappling hook to pull me across the hallway. I still have to invest in purchasing more uh, more trap mods and everything. Okay. Uh, uh, that was scary for five seconds. Oh my god. I didn't know where the traps were. So I'm down now, aren't I? Another one bites the dusty. Clap, clap. It was fun. All that jumping around stuff, you know? Mm hmm. Eventually, I can purchase more outposts. Who understand the Here we go. Of these contributions. That's me. All right, so I want to upgrade one of these guys. How about this dude? Haltum City, seven corrosive cube, eleven. Uh, sorry, fourteen impaler, twenty-seven total traps, and five guards. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. We're in some structure and that's okay. Old health in the city. Players don't name their own bases, which is good because then you might get some stupid name. stuff for enemies oh boy I'm trying to farm it Good fight thank you so much so desperate for this end fight. I think we're going up, right? Yep. In, in the direction of new traps. On the return trip, I can kind of be chill about it because I've already triggered most of the traps, and there's typically fewer. Return traps than first route traps, but um, some bases are purposely built opposite, where they're chill in the first route and the second route is terrible. Across the world dot com. I do hear enemies. I, I feel like I've maybe been in this building before, but maybe not. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Whew. We're 
still making our way on through. Okay. <laughs> it was in my dome. But now I'm all out. Hmm. I'm all out of the goods. Give me a second, please. All right, cool. Moving on. I'm in need of more material. Again. Desperately in need. Careful. I think we're going back up. For the most part, it's fine. Checking those corners. Super scary. Alright, we're free from this place. Get here. Alright. A few more raids and I'll be good to go. I already have my outposts up and running. I've already prestiged them. They're doing just fine. There are chimeras. These genetics build something great within me. Craft your hardware before leaving. I will not be clinging to your arm, I reminding have you. A lot. I don't have enough of these. I've run out. Cool. And are we good to go beyond that? Gen mat. Boots on the ground. We've got a whistle. These traps were first used to defend Didn't sanctuaries during drop the riots. Rate. By 10%. Not worth it, Holmes. Okay, let's go back out there right now. Uh, mm -hmm. So, Rio Hondo. Five impellers, six corrosive cubes, uh, 25 total traps, and six guards. Let's go. Cool. I'll be doing about two or three more of these. And then transitioning into Valheim as I work on the the wolflands of your supposed to do. I totally thought players were lost or something. 
when they're like running around my map. But no. They were looking. Wow. Good job. Good job. I'm trying to farm these supplies. Stupid, stupid, stupid girl. I almost got out. Holographic block. Mm -hmm. And exploding enemies. Scary times. Scary times in Richmond Avenue. Scary times indeed. Alright, it's gonna be rough. But I think I'll be fine right away. Either way, you never you never know. Okay. Phoenix Pod. And I'm leaving now. Carefully. There's probably some holographic cubes for the phase two. All right. Yay. Uh, fun and genius. Ingenious. Out of genius. Side genius. Got that side gene on point, y'all. Okay, here we go. What's wrong? Nothing. Cool. I'll just check up my, my structures to see if they're killing people. Alright, Impaler, Corrosive Cube, let's go. I can do uh, at least one more after this. People. One more after this, and then I'll be transitioning into Valheim. And I'll, I'll come back to this game in about four to six more hours after that. I think it's fun trying to go fast. Oh, it's getting all creepy. Right now we we can't adjust the lighting or anything, but there's ways to make 
things look cool. traps in here. That was meant to be hard. Lots of stuff in here. Up. Good morning, Theo. See, I remember your name. Theo, how's it going? This game is called Meet Your Maker. It's a game where you you have to uh, go through these mazes, these levels, maze like. Oh no! I almost died. These maze like levels, full of traps and bad guys. You know, to get some stuff and get out. But it's all made by players, and then you have a bunch of bases as well. I have like, you know, six bases. And I just went through upgrading all of them. What happens is, you make these bases, they persist over time, you know, and other players run through them, even when, you, even when you're offline. And when you log back in hours later after you go to bed and wake up, you see pleasantly that your screen is filled up with treasures and delights and bodies littering the floor from all the enemies that came before. Players like you and me. It is their destiny to die in your base through your clever schemes of deliberate trap placement and luring and distracting. Like bombs in the ceiling and so much more. Such as grappling and corrosive cubes and flamethrowers and holographic cubes and palers and dart throwers and flame jets, oh my. Everything that you can do to try to survive won't be enough when you play Meet the Maker. Come on down and play it. Yeah. I'm getting credit for um looting or destroying these traps. All right, here we go. Yeah, meet your maker. It just came out recently. I think this is the right way. Probably in the direction that I was shooting. I'm just guessing. Yeah, this is going to be a weird one. A weird, weird, dangerous one. This is an interesting layout. Whoa, a bomb did drop. Whew. All these line of sight breaks are scary. So here we go. So. Gen map. Phoenix. Odd. So if I die, I can revive. Now let's get the heck out of here with the material. I require the gen match. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. But we're relatively safe because I have that pod back there. Seems like they invested everything in the first round. But probably not everything. There's probably like one, one surprise trap for the return trip here. I do hear something. Oh, there's traps. Oh, what the heck? What, what took that so long to activate? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so the fire trap does go through the corrosive cube. <laughs> yeah, so the whole thing is safe until we get back down there. Or so I will declare. So now I've got to play it safe. I do have a uh, thing here. I absolutely cannot see. Oh no, it's so dangerous. No. That's really hard. Okay. Because I can't see the traps behind the walls. I can't see them. But they can still shoot me. Okay. I don't think there's any holograms here. Son of a... I thought I hit it. <laughs> I'm trying to go faster now. Uh, sucks about that one part, though. I was trying to maybe dash through it. Well, I think, I think, I think... Well, it's too late now. It's too late now. I'll have to use my shield and then uh, go fast through that section. Okay, here we go. Let's hurry up. stuff here. Again, again. That's right. Good. Right in the head. Oh, so scary. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Click. Ooh. Oh, I made it free. <laughs> Gosh. And again, it's going to be careful here. Sideways and around and sideways and down. Till the end, my friend. Mm. 
Okay, I think we're safe right here. I'm gonna save my shield for that room. my checkpoint. Yeah, I think it was all safe until we got down to that one section of horror. The section of pain. The section of pain. Move forward and back. Do I get my ammo back or no? Oh my gosh, I don't. Oh no. Well, that sucks. Educational, though. Okay, I'm safe right here. Oh my gosh. This sucks. Move forward a tile. Mac a tile. Border tile. Okay. Border tile. Back a tile. Woo wee! This is crazy. Okay. Gosh. Woo! That was cool. That was scary. I had to put down my shields and phases, so I'll put down fun and brutal. Well, brutal and genius. Okay. Fun is just being nice. Well, that was exciting. I Man. am the I am the sum of humanity's strongest. I am the sum of humanity's strongest powers. Okay, this is the last one I'm doing right here. Right here. Forty four traps, a bunch of hollow cubes and impalers. Let's just do it right now. The last one I'm doing right now, and then we're swapping over to Valheim. And then when I come back, I'll check on the status of my outpost and then do more raiding and prestige whatever I could. Maybe even buy another outpost. Let's look for the... Let's look for the Forsaken... There it is. The Forsaken Tomb. I can certainly hear it. Hmm. I don't know. But anyways, we're we're entering the facility. Now I gotta find the way in. Is it over here? I don't know. Right here, probably. Right, here we go. Easy peasy.
There you go. You gotta shoot him in the head unless you use the armor piercing flim flam. Oh no, it got me. I can't believe it. <gasps> okay, let's be a bit more careful. There's a bunch of holographic cubes and so forth. I haven't forgotten. Not today. Holographic cubes today. I said none. Wow. <laughs> Ridiculous. Get me all scared right now. I'm like a monkey learning things. Left, right, front and center. Left, right, and go. Let's go this way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gotta watch out for those holographic cubes now. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's one. There's one. Yeah. Okay, so I'm ready for the flim flam. Oh yeah, phase two. Phase two holograms everywhere. Let's go. Phase two holograms. I'll never. Mister. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. Foolish things on occasion. Trying to be careful here. Good thing to have fifteen shots. Hey there, Alex. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Uh -huh -huh. I'm all shook up. I'm learning so much.
freedom. Yay. That was wonderful, you know what I mean? Wasn't that bad, wasn't that bad at all. Oh, fun. I'll give you a stamp of fun approval. Since you tipped me, Alex, I'll do one more. Okay? I'll do one more raid since you tipped me, and then I'll cross over to Valheim. If we put down our weapons, I knew he would not Kill let to decay. Okay, let's go do one more. Terraford. Oh my gosh. This should be fun. Seven hollow cubes, nine bolt shot. So this is the last one I'm doing. This game is called Meet Your Maker. It's a game where you go through these maps, sort of like Doom or Quake. And, uh, but they're made by players, you see, full of traps and bad guys. And the, the other player that made this base is farming people like me. Farming kills from raiders that enter their base. And I have other bases myself. And I'm doing these raids to earn resources so I can then make more bases and upgrade my current bases. It's pretty cool. Alright. But I'm learning what to expect here. I'm learning what to expect. I'm shooting the I'm shooting the floor for um Holograms. Crazy old holograms over here. Yay. Almost a close one. Okay. Boom. Boom bop. Oh yeah. Good old Meet Your Maker. It came out just a few days ago. I've been I've been investing a certain amount of time into it. So I'm currently going live with Meet Your Maker for, for about four hours and then Valheim for about the same time and then coming back with Meet Your Maker. up there. They're over here trying to trick people. Probably a grenadier. She was standing in front of a hologram. These walls really do look like uh, traps, you know. Some of these walls look just like traps. Yep, they sure do. Haha. <laughs> I like when my suspicions are confirmed. Or my fears. Alright, so, shield. Activate. And Phoenix Pod, and we're good to go. 
so cool. It really works, I tell you what. Now let's get the heck out of here. Let's get the heck out of Dodge Town. Alex and Tomas, you should totally become subscribers. You know? You're already basically tipping them about that same amount every month. Five bucks. Five bucks for the whole month. You're already basically tipping about that same amount. So you might as well become subscribers. And then you get access to those cool stickers and a cool, unique VIP special icon to make yourself stand out even more from the rigmaroles out there. You know what I mean? Only costs five bucks a month to be a good person. Oh yeah. Five bucks a month to be a player. I think we're done with this. Run away! Oh, it's so scary. You can't get me. You can't get me. I'm the flim flam man. Well, well, well. That was done. I'll give you a fun. And artistic, because it is. They made they put forth the effort to make it look like something, so I'll give them some points. But now we're about to move on to the other game, huh? Let's check one more time on my basement. All these bodies. I need more bodies. More bodies. Right, well, I think we're done now. I'll be back with this after we do some Valheim. Right now it's 11.42 p.m. So I'll be live at, a, at around midnight my time zone, California, with Valheim. I thought this was a good little stream. Got some stuff done. You know what I mean? Demonstrated a couple things. Prestiged a couple bases. None of my bases are at uh, 5 and 4. Yeah. I'm 21. Well, my Chimera is 26. Well, goodbye, everybody. Ashes. Goodbye. Have yourself a great day. I'll be right back with just... You know whatever in just a few moments goodbye